This is episode 1795. Welcome to the Daily Meditation Podcast. I'm Mary Meckley and I honor you for giving yourself permission to slow down and connect to the best part of who you are. I welcome you to a brand new series we are exploring this week. We're launching into the theme to simplify your body, and how you respond to stress. In this week's series, you will discover meditation techniques and insight to help you manage the stress and tension, the fear, the anxiety, the uncertainty you hold in your body. And, and you may not even be aware that you may be holding on to emotions from events in your life, from the time you were younger to things happening today, that you don't take the time to process, but your body keeps the score. In fact, I'll be sharing with you insight from this New York Times best-selling book called The Body Keeps the Score. Brain, Mind, and Body in the Healing of Trauma. And this is by the author, who is an MD, Bessel van der Kolk. In this book, you will discover ways you can heal past experiences, including trauma and things that just keep you feeling stuck. Maybe you seem to have everything going for you, but you feel hopeless and you can't quite pinpoint why. Or maybe you have this sadness that won't go away, even though there's so much joy in your world. Or maybe you have a disease or physical ailment that you can't seem to shake. And it started around the time when something in your life was shocking or traumatic to you. Whatever it may be, there are things in all our lives that sometimes we just don't have the time or the resources or even the awareness that something's going on to process emotions that seem to settle within our bodies. So in this week's series, Simplify Your Body, I'll be sharing insight from the book, The Body Keeps the Score. You could download this book on Audible or buy it at most bookstores if you want to refer to it as you go throughout this week's series. I'll also mention that you can follow along with this series at a deeper level with full half-hour guided meditations, as well as a journal customized for this week's series, as well as a slow-down guide with the different techniques and insight from this series. It's like a meditation cheat sheet at your fingertips, as well as access to over 1,700 guided meditations on the Sip and Ohm meditation app. You can try it for two weeks free access when you subscribe, and that's free access to the full app, not just a part of it, but the full app for two weeks free, my gift to you. So as you begin the very first day of the Simplify Your Body series, It's all about awareness, and this awareness is critical because sometimes emotions from certain experiences can be much easier to suppress rather than to process. In fact, you may feel like you're too busy to process these emotions or you're too distracted, or you'll get to it later. But your body always knows. Those emotions 
go somewhere. They don't just disappear. And they usually emerge in that nagging sense of something is off. You feel hopeless. You erupt in anger over a seemingly minor offense. Or you feel a sense of dread or remorse and you're not sure why. In page 132 of the book, this is described as an experience a woman has as she remembers something that happened to her when she was younger that she had suppressed to the point that she couldn't even remember that it happened. Her body remembered she had developed a disease to her immune system. She noticed that she would lash out in anger in certain situations, and it didn't make sense. Finally, she started to process emotions that she hadn't faced for years. Her immune system, her muscles, and her fear system all had kept the score but her conscious mind lacked a story that could communicate the experience. She reenacted her trauma in her life, but she had no narrative to refer to. This is the example from the book. You might be able to relate to such an experience in your own life because sometimes you may not be conscious of certain emotions or experiences you've been exposed to in your life. And it could be because you just didn't have any kind of reference point to process that kind of a narrative in your life. So as you settle yourself down and get ready to meditate, Just become aware of how you're feeling right now, this moment, in your body. Bring to mind where you may feel tension in your body. And give it a name. Is it fear? And is it in your stomach? Is it possibly elation? And you feel it at your chest expanding Is it uncertainty and doubt and you feel a burden, a weight on your shoulders? Do you feel your jaw clenched in anger? Name the emotions you are experiencing right now today in your body. You may realize that you experience certain tensions that you've just gotten used to. See if you can name those tensions, the location in your body, and how you feel. Name the emotion they evoke. As you settle yourself down to meditate, meditate to the point where you could go a little bit further Always end your meditation on a high note. You are so worth slowing down for. 